Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. This is Ipek. Today we are going to make one of the popular recipe but in a different way. I'm thinking most of you know shepherd's pie and probably all of you has a different way to make it and I'm sure all of them are delicious. Well, I love shepherd's pie but if you know me, you know that I love eating food. Not just shepherd's pie but pasta, bread, french fries and all that stuff. But we have to accept that eating all those type of foods all the time is not good for our health. So we need to find a balance about eating healthy and unhealthy food, not that healthy food actually. That's why it is good to have these type of foods that are not restricted diet food but healthy and delicious. And that's how actually I decided to cook healthy version of shepherd's pie. So whenever I want shepherd's pie, I can cook this one and don't have to feel guilty. It is good to have these kind of healthy and delicious options like my last video, Zucchini Boss with Chicken Filling. You should go and check that out. If you haven't yet, you can check that recipe and more in my blog from EpecJacobs.com. Every recipe has a list of ingredients with step-by-step -step description about how to cook. Make cooking more easy for you. So let's keep cooking delicious food. And before we start it, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And now let's get started. We have two different parts in this recipe. One is cooking puree, which mostly will make with potato, mashed potato actually, but we are going to make it with cauliflower. And the second one will mostly be ground beef, but we are going to make it with chicken. We are going to do the same things like in the shepherd's pie, so it's really easy. Let's start with cutting our vegetables. We have one carrot, half of onion, one big or two small clove of garlic, also one stalk celery. Cut them into small pieces and when you are ready, heat 1 tablespoon of olive oil in the pan and start cooking with onion. Saute onion for 2-3 to three minutes. After that, add your carrot. As I am always saying after every item before adding other one, cook each item for 2-3 to three minutes at least. So then add the next ingredients. It's going to make your food way more delicious. We are going to add celery after carrot. Whenever it is ready, you can add your garlic. Well, every time, add your garlic in the last step because it is so small and it is easy to burn. By the way, I want to give you a little idea. If you see in the video, I had a celery in the bag that I cut and freeze before. Whenever you need to cut some wedges, you can do the same thing. Cut a little more than you need and freeze it to use it later. It's going to help you to save time and make your job way more easy. And this way is also good to use if you have a bunch of wedges that you can't use and you don't want to waste it. So just cut them in little pieces however you want to use and freeze it then you can use it whenever you want now we are ready for our chicken we are going to add cooked chicken it can be breast, thigh, rotisserie, whatever you have in your hand 1 tablespoon of tomato paste we are adding after the chicken and cook 2 more minutes it is time for our spices for spices we are going to use salt, black pepper, oregano and red pepper flakes a little bit Add your chicken broth, reduce heat and let it cook for about 1 hour. It is going to cook slowly and going to be so delicious. At this time while it is cooking we can start our second part of wood which is going to be cauliflower puree. Like I said it is normally made with potato like mashed potato but we are going to make it healthy so it's going to be with cauliflower. I don't know if you tried to make puree with cauliflower before but it is pretty good actually. I love it. So it's a healthy version to keep it in mind. And it is really delicious too, so cooking in the same way like mashed potato, cut your cauliflower and boil it till it gets soft.
blend with one tablespoon of butter, one and a half cup of milk, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. I blend half of it with half of milk first because my blender wasn't big enough to put them all inside. So I first blend the first part and then I blend the rest of it all together and it was ready. Both steps are done, heat your oven for 375 and place chicken in a pan on the top Put your prey, cook about 15 minutes. <laughs> What I did is actually cook about 10 minutes, take it out, add some parmesan a little bit and turn on broil part which is on the top, cook for another 5 minutes. ready to eat not just because it was healthy but you should definitely try it because it was so tasty. Healthy food doesn't have to be tasteless so just need to know some tips and ways to cook that's why I'm here to help you guys and show what kind of amazing foods that we can cook at our kitchen easily. For that don't forget to subscribe like and share also always welcome to visit my blog to check all the other recipes with the ingredients, descriptions, it is easy to cook, just follow the steps and you are going to love the food that you cook. Let's keep cooking and learning how to cook together. See you guys in the next video.